Hey everybody, I'm doing a video today on how to change an antenna and an antenna lead on a Scorpion. Now I don't have a old Scorpion, so I just have one of our new ones that is halfway through production, but I can show you everything you need to do. Okay, the tools we'll need today is a pair of uh, wire cutters, pliers, 3mm Allen key, seven and an eight mil spanner. We're gonna need Loctite 243 thread locker. This is to re-glue the antenna down onto the thread so it isn't removed during gameplay. The parts you will need today is an antenna, antenna lead, the washer, the nut, and a zip tie. Okay, move these tools out of the way and get on with the video. Okay. First off, what we need to do is use our three millimeter Allen key and we need to take out the two M4 bolts holding the antenna bracket down. Alright, now don't pull too hard on this guy because it's attached inside, get that close, with a little zip tie. What we need to do now is use our little side cutters, gently get down in there, and get it in focus, snip it off. Be very careful not to cut these wires, these are your red dot power wires. So be very careful not to accidentally nip those. Now that's done, we remove the bracket from the gun. We'll put him over there. So this is it here. This one's still in pretty good nick. So I'm just gonna replace it just to show you how to do it. All right, now we have this. It's held on by the thread underneath the antenna here. So what we need to grab is our 8mm spanner. And we put him on in here, like that. Use one hand to hold him firm. And then we'll grab our pliers. Now these are used to break the glue break and uh, the glue in here. Can get pretty tough. So make sure you give it a good squeeze. Just be careful not to scratch that paint underneath there. So give it a few. Yeah. Camera's not focusing. Okay, there we go. A few mil so you don't scratch up your paint on the bracket. Squeeze down firmly and break the seal. This didn't break because there is no Loctite on this. I'm just explaining this for when you have to do it. All right. Antenna will screw off like that. Put him aside and the cable. Because we don't need it. We're going to replace it. Okay. Grab your new cable. And this is the process of putting it back together. We just put the base plate through the bottom of the bracket as such and this is where you'll need your Loctite glue this guy here I, we always use the blue label because it's not as strong as the red label and it makes it easier for future repairs now we just put a little dollop here Focus. There we go. So that. Hang on. Move this. Let's see if we can get a better view. Okay, there we go. Alright. A little bit of glue there. 
you grab your new star washer, you put him over, like so. Your nut now, bring him all the way down, because we'll use the spanners and the pliers to do this up nice and tight. Grab your pliers again, gently hold onto the bottom of the antenna bracket. Be careful not to pinch the black wire. And then we get the 8mm spanner. We put it on here and we tighten it. Good firmness. Not too crazy tight that it will break, but it needs a fair bit of um, force just to stop it spinning. Now we have that done, we get the Loctite again because it's going to need another dollop of glue. We put it just above where the nut is, a little bit more this time. So it's glued now. So if I can get it close up, there we go. Antenna, the new antenna. Screw him onto place. Now you don't need any tools here. Just get your fingers and tighten it up nice and firm. The glue will dry internally and that won't be coming off too easy again. You'll need the tools to remove it. So the sequence is base plate of the antenna lead, washer, nut, antenna. Glue is between the nut and the base plate and the antenna and the base plate thread and that will stop everything from moving again. That's done. Ready to fit back into the gun. I'll just move a couple of tools around and get the scorpion back. Easy part. Just feed the cable back through. Your three millimeter Allen key Get them started. Replace the two M48 nuts holding this in. Checking the wires not pinched and it goes down the hole without any obstructions. And we tighten the bracket down. Again, firm, not over tight. Don't want to strip any threads. And that's it done on the outside. Now what we'll do, we need to tie these wires back up so the battery won't hit them at all when they're down here. So what we do, lay the gun down, we take the two wires and pull them out like this. So you can see, zip tie, and you just simply put him around all of them. We get started, but we don't tighten it all the way down. Feeding it down back in. And pushing it as far as it can go. Let's see if I can get a good shot. Down towards the lens. Take small hands and a bit of practice, but then pull the zip tie tight. So we have all the wires tied up right underneath the where the antenna lead comes out. And that stops the battery in here fouling on any of those wires. Let me get the side cutters again. Gently just nip the excess zip tie cable off because we don't need that. And there you have it. You have your new antenna installed. Um, I would leave it for a few hours so the Loctite glues before you go putting it into your field as it still can be removed until the Loctite is fully dried. 
And now you can just go through normal reassembly of your gun. I can't show you because this is a brand new case. And that should fix up all your antenna troubles with your lead and your external antenna. Thank you for watching my video today and I'll see you in the next.